Hi everybody, Scotty here with my co-host Cletus uh, for Scotty's Tech Dot Info. This is in fact the very first Scotty's Tech Dot Info video on the YouTubes on the internets. So, uh, without further ado, the topic for today is uh, aftermarket battery packs for power tools. E probably you've got at least a few battery powered power tools and uh, the tools themselves are not terribly expensive. You can buy a naked power tool, 50, 60 bucks, but if you get the whole pack, two, three hundred dollars for tool, battery, battery, battery charger, uh, cowboy holster so you can, you know, whoosh, 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 and that kind of thing. Uh, but you're going to need multiple battery packs, and those battery packs are going to die. And uh, you've probably noticed that, um, especially things like a Makita 18-volt battery pack, for example, they can be 80 or $90, which is uh, more expensive than the tool. Yeah. So the question is, uh, what about aftermarket battery packs? Are they any good? What's the difference between them? Um, are, they, are they crap? Are they good? Are they better than the originals? What's the deal? So, off we go. So this is my trusty little cordless Dremel. 10.8 volt. It's got this little baby foot battery pack. Not really sure who came up with that idea. It's like little baby, baby booty. It's, it's really kind of annoying because uh, oops, that's backwards. When you wanna, when you wanna actually cut something, you know, if you you're you're, you're hitting, you know, like say I want to cut a piece of wood, I'm going, <coughs> not very handy. Um, fortunately, later versions of this battery look like this this Bosch one, which is obviously far more sensible. But anyway, so this battery pack is a Dremel 10.8 volt, 1.3 amp hour. Uh, 10.8 volts is just the voltage output. 1.3 amp hours, that may be a little bit uh, weird sounding because where's the hour come from? Basically all it means is that this is a 10.8 volt battery and it can supply 1.3 amps for one hour. It's kind of like 1.3 amps times one hour. So you get 1.3 amp hours. Or it can supply say 2.6 amps for half an hour. That depends on the cells that are inside here. Now this uh, baby foot battery pack actually contains these bad boys. These are 18650 cells, uh, which just means it's uh, 18 millimeters wide by 650 millimeters long, hence 18650. And these are uh, 3.7 volts usually, sometimes they're 3.5, 3.6 volts. These are just cells. They're like a, they're like a AA battery um, in terms of like, the, the way you use them. If you put uh, four AA batteries together in series. Uh, each one of these is 1.5 volts, so you get 6 volts output if they're in series, right? And that's exactly what you do with these guys. Is you put, say, this is 3.6 volts, you put two of these in series, and you get 7.2 volts, right? And in the case of 10.8 volts, you put three of these in series, and you get 10.8 volts. So inside this battery pack, you basically have these guys, uh, you can buy these on, oh, you can buy them everywhere now. You can buy them on um, eBay, you can buy them on Amazon even. And even like the 3 amp hour ones, two, two and a half, three amp hours, they're about four bucks a piece. So, yeah. Um, anyway, in this uh, baby booty battery pack, you've got two cells here and a third one there. Don't ask me why they use that configuration instead of this one where there's just one, two, Three. Done. Much more compact, much nicer. Oh well. So the problem is that this is an actual real Dremel brand battery pack and it's only 1.3 amp hours and these puppies actually cost about $65. Um, yeah, that's pretty expensive for what you're getting given that they're only 1.3 amp hours. Uh, so, right, let's take, I've got another one here that's pre-opened. Uh, so if you take this, this little puppy apart, um, yeah, like I said, that's what it looks like inside. 
Uh, it's just three cells. These are actually Samsung 18650 cells, and if I, you peel back the tape and look, the, each cell is 1.3 amp hours, and that's it. They're just connected in series, and Bob's your uncle. Uh, pretty simple. I know many people think that lithium ion and lithium polymer batteries are uh, some like magical or some sort of, you know, there's like little fairies inside or something that makes them, you know, more magical and better, more betterer. But um, nope, they're just a bunch of cells connected in series and parallel, whatever, to give you the voltage and current that you need to power your tool. And that's pretty much it. So anyway, this is the inside of a Dremel battery. And it's only 1.3 amp hours. Uh, that means it's going to have a much shorter life than some aftermarket batteries. And for this puppy, you're going to pay $65. That's crazy. So, I then bought this dude off uh, Amazon, which is 10.8 volts and supposedly 3,000 milliamp hours, which is 3 amp hours. Now, that's over twice the power of, of this bad boy. Um... And the, this was $22, so it's one-third the price. So let's... this is also pre-opened, of course. Um, so we take this one apart, and you notice uh, a couple things right off the bat. Is you have this, this foam padding in here, which kind of helps with these clips, which hold it uh, into the tool. Uh, and then also, underneath here, you've got a, f a foam, pad foam padding underneath here. Where's my magical pointer? You got foam padding here, and then there's this kind of silicone glue stuff here. So right off the bat, this pack is like substantially more durable at one third the price. I mean, compared to this thing, you open it up and it just falls apart. And this is the official Dremel one. This guy is like, you know, no name aftermarket. And I mean, look at this sucker. Um, now the one problem with it, it's very well built actually. These cells are actually LG cells, and um, it says three amp hours. It's actually not, because if you look at these cells, um, sometimes the numbers on here explain the, they give you the, uh, the, the current rating. Um, this one, I think it was something like 20, 2100, so 2.1 uh, amp hours, which is obviously not 3000. So um, I got this on Amazon France, and I actually went back and wrote a review and said, uh, no, it's not 3 amp hours, but it is 2.1 and that's a lot higher than 1.3 amp hours of, of our official Dremel battery. And of course, so this guy's going to give you about 50% more battery life, and it does, because uh, I've used it. And, um, but at the same time, it's one-third the price, and it's, it's extremely robust. Uh, I mean, you know, this thing just, just like falling apart. This guy is like, you can drop this thing, you can beat on it, and it's, it's going to last probably. You're, you know, going to have less damage and stuff if you're beating the crap out of it, so, um, but it's not actually 3 amp hours, and that's, that's kind of a common problem with, with these guys, they, they usually talk up the, the amp hour rating, but still, like I said, it's still like 50% more power than the standard battery at one third the price, and it's well built, so, to me, that's a win. Then we have, put this guy back together, then we have this dude, which is an Intensilo, uh, again, 10.8 volts, 2.5 amp hours. Okay. So we open him up, and again, we got we got the same thing. You got the padding here for the springiness and to keep the batteries from moving around. And again, uh, let me rotate. See if I can get a good angle here because it's kind of hard to see. Again, down here, you've got your your foam padding and your kind of silicone glue stuff. Um, and that's gonna, that, it holds it in there really well, so again, this is pretty durable. Um, this one, which is rated at 2.5 amp hours, these cells, uh, they have the letter D written on them, but that's about it. Um, yeah, this is, uh, don't know exactly what the actual ratings, rating of these cells is. Um, usually... Uh, there's there's a uh, Samsung are usually kind of a greenish color. The LGs are usually like a beige. There's kind of these pinky reddy colors, and they're usually uh, there's a couple. I think Sanyo and another one. I don't remember the other one. They they do this, but also um, these 18650 lithium ion cells that come out of China. They're also usually red, uh, or reddy, pinky, whatever you want to call it. Um, 
So you don't really know what's the actual rating of these until you actually use it. And I used it and it's it's probably, it's at least 50% of, of the life of the original Dremel over here. So it's at least 2.1, probably closer to maybe 2.3 amp hours. Um, but of course the only way to know is to just use the darn thing and, and find out. Um, so is it actually 2.5? Yeah, not quite, but it's definitely more than 1.3. Um, and in use, yeah, it definitely gives longer battery life. And again, as with the other aftermarket battery pack, you've got the extra, the extra stuff to, the extra schmutz in here, the pads and the glue and stuff that makes it like a really sturdy, sturdy pack. So, <clears throat> right. So that's the, um, that's the thing, you know, um, you can pay, obviously when you buy one of these packs, you're, you're probably not going to, I mean, the first thing I do is I take it apart and I look inside and if it's not the real cells I go on Amazon and I write a review and say oh no 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 this isn't the <laughs> it's not really three amp hours and of course you know they don't give you your money back and no one gets gets yelled at or anything but um, it's just a useful thing to do is to let other people know that you know if yeah if you want to buy an aftermarket battery pack uh, beware it's still a lot better than the original but it's not as good as they claim uh, but again, both these aftermarket packs, they're at least 50% more powerful than this standard Dremel one. And they're both one-third the price. Um, so the best thing to do is to... to uh, I, I don't I, I don't really... I, mean, I, I order stuff on eBay, but in terms of battery packs, I usually stick with Amazon, simply because Amazon has lots of reviews and they have lots of buyers. And uh, especially if it's uh, shipped by Amazon, you can be a little bit more certain that it's kind of been through some uh, some testing. And if, if it gets too many customer complaints, they'll they'll uh, give the seller a hard time and whatever. Um, so yeah, basically um, look for look for packs with good reviews. Um, as uh, as you can see with with these two, I bought. Sometimes the aftermarket packs are. Uh, maybe they're not as high a power rating as they claim, but they're actually, um, you know, one of these was Chinese, the other one was actually LG cells, which is, I mean, LG cells are, are pretty good, and um, and it's basically the reinforced, uh, you know, the, the, the padding and stuff inside. It's, it's really kind of a, a more sturdy battery than the original. Um, so basically, don't be afraid to, to look into aftermarket batteries. Um, in the end, they're all just basically these suckers, hooked together um, and as with this one with the red the red batteries in it um, yeah maybe maybe they are made in China but like I said so far it's been a good pack and they work really well so even if they're not like a name brand um, yeah it can still be a really good pack uh, so don't be don't be afraid of of uh, experimenting a little and you know at one-third the price you know, you can buy three packs for the same price as one Dremel pack, uh, and you end up with, you know, if one of them is crap, you know, or you can buy buy two cheap packs for 40 bucks, you still save 33%, and, you know, there you go. Go for go for aftermarket if you can, and uh, basically the way to know is, is read reviews, and especially if you get one, and it's crap, post a review. And if it's good, post a review, because the only way to know is, you know, I mean, basically you you post reviews and help other people, they'll help you, and, and Bob's your uncle. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, they're pretty cool, actually. Alrighty, see you next time.